Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome to another video with me, Crazy Skin Dog. And uh, today we are back for some SRK action here from Herefordshire Raceway. Um, yeah, this is a great little track in the, in the farmlands here in Hereford. And um, I really like this track, it's a, it's a good fun one. Uh, they got very unusual twin engine cars. We don't drive anything like them anywhere else on the calendar. Um, but they're, they're as decent as any other arrive and drive kind of uh, rental cart track. No, no real problems with them. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this one today. Obviously I've been in a Club 100 car for the last two weekends, so it might be a little bit weird getting used to the four strokes again, but we do have some pre-event practice in addition to our practice session within the event to get used to it for. So um, yeah, we're, we're gonna be looking for a podium as always this year. I think our, our aim for every round this year has to be a podium. Um, so we will be looking to, to get on the podium for this one. Um, obviously we didn't at Coom, but we also didn't get a strike towards promotion to SRK1. So we are sat fifth in class and one of the podium series isn't here today. So um, hopefully we will be able to, to get a decent result in, in this one. Um, the junior has been out and the racing has been pretty, pretty argy-bargy this morning by the looks of it. So we'll see how the adults go. Hopefully it won't be too bad. And uh, yeah, we'll... We'll see how the heats go, see what that puts in the finals, and, and hopefully we'll be bringing a trophy home at the end. So yeah, we'll catch up after those heats and stuff. Okay guys, so this is heat one, and uh, actually we're starting in P2 for this one, straight in for the green lights where you get a banging start in comparison to Aiden, but it is hard to take advantage here at Hereford. The, the starting grid's quite far away, so you have to try and hang it around the outside, catch a little bit of a slide, and Aiden might slot back up the inside. But uh, we're going to stick on his tail, see what we can get going down the, down the main straight and onto the official start of the first lap. Um, the start finish line, oh, Aiden's ran a little bit wide there, we're going to stick it up the inside. We're on the inside for the hairpin, should mean we can get round in, in the lead. And uh, yeah, we get that covered off and we have taken the lead of heat one. Um, this was the first heat of the day and so that, that was good. Great start to our day, get up into first and uh, just try and control the pace from there. A little look over the shoulder, check what's behind us. And um, yeah, feeling pretty good at this point. So we've got better start than Aiden, we got the overtake done, and Aiden's an SRK1 driver now. Um, we're gonna jump a little bit later in the heat, because uh, we just had a few laps of, of driving around on our own. Um, and uh, we have Gabe Quinter right on our tail. And we're gonna catch a little tiny slide there, nothing too bad. As we come over the bridge, I go to turn in and just see a nose there. and. Um, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> thankfully he, he drifts right and doesn't put me in that little barrier on the left. I try and hang it round into turn one, but it's not quite on there and he covers that perfectly. And then he gives me the super secret let's go signal, the, the kind of let's not sabotage each other and let everybody else get involved, let's get our heads down and put some laps in, um, which is exactly what we do. Um, he grabs a, gets a little slide there, but I manage to uh, keep up to him but he pulls away into the entry there and it kind of went like this for a few laps just I kind of gain, I'd lose, I'd gain, I'd lose and uh, we don't really don't really change too much so as you jump forward here we'll see that gap has opened up a little bit we're more like 8 to 10 cart lengths rather than 3 to 4 um, so I have lost a bit of time over the course of the race and uh, this is coming right towards the end I get a slide there, that's not very good not happy with that so I've stayed defensive and then I'm going to get absolutely mullered and I'm very happy with that, as you can see. And uh, that was indeed, as you see by the checkered flag, the end of the race. And we dropped all the way down to eighth place off the back of that. I think it was, I think we gained one position back because Neil had a penalty. Freddie there giving me a thumbs up. You can see how happy I am with that guy. Um, I probably should have cut that out really, shouldn't I? Because that's me, me being a bit of a, a, bit of a whinger. Um, but that, that's how I felt at the time. I'd, I'd driven such a good race. I controlled the pace, just, yeah, didn't, other than Gabe coming through, didn't really ruin too much, I didn't ruin too much myself, but got it all ruined for me at the end. Okay guys, so that was heat one, um, that was a frustrating one, um, again, pace was alright, felt like my racecraft was decent, um, obviously got Aiden off the line, that was good, um, couldn't, couldn't keep Gabe behind. I thought I'd just use him to, to drag me along. Um, was not too bad a race, a little bit scruffy in places. 
I can get used to the brakes in these cuts. They're so rear heavy, um, the brakes feel a bit pinchy. So it just means that I, I almost spin almost every time I hit the brakes. I'm a bit cautious, gotta, gotta cut that out. Um, but yeah, and it's just, as you saw the last lap incident, I mean, I've taken a defensive line. There's clearly no space. It does sometimes look like there's space on that corner. I've been in the same position where you're behind. You think, oh, there's a gap on here. It never is. Um, unless you're already alongside before the turning point, you just spin people out at that corner. Um, so it's frustrating to be the one to be spun out. Um, dropped to eight through no fault of my own. So yeah, just the sixth, eight, sixth and eighth place starts to come. Um, gotta, gotta get some pace and make some moves in these heats. Um, yeah, obviously it's frustrating, but two more heats. Hopefully there'll be some carnage ahead and uh, we'll see where that places us for the finals later on. But uh, yeah, the next two heats are back to back pretty much. So I probably won't do a, a vlog in between those. We'll just catch up after the heats and, uh, and see how they've gone. See if I'm smiling a bit more, um, but it's just head down, focus now and go again for, for these next two heats. Don't let that one ruin, ruin the whole day and see what we can salvage. So after having my best start of the day ruined, we go into the second best start and this was an eighth place start. And uh, yeah, it's hard to even see the, the start light from this view, um, but we'll try and see it just next to Neil's head there. You see the marshal is gonna point to, to the lights in a moment once we're all good to go. And here it comes, green light, away we go, we get a great start again. I'm just feeling right on it on those starts. But as I said in the first heat, there's so much gap between the between the grid slots. We're on the outside and then uh, Oli Dani takes perfect advantage of that. And then I try and get up the inside of him, but he, he manages to hang it around the outside and get ahead. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how you get a great start, but still lose a position. Um, but... There's been lots of battling in the heats we've seen so far, and as we can see, there's a lot, a lot of bunching up ahead. As uh, Barry and Zach Small have a, a bit of an instant there, and Neil and Zach have a bit of an instant there. I give, give Ollie a nudge. It's just really scruffy in the mid pack all day. Just lots of little nudging, lots of little slides, and then Matt's gonna send it up the inside of me there. Nice clean move. Um, not too much I can do about that really. I could have tried to defend, but no point in defending over ninth places there we're better off just getting our heads down making our way through this pack I try and get a switch back on in there but he doesn't leave a cart whip for me to sneak into and uh, yeah just can't get anything going into that hairpin and we see that's Jake shoot on my inside he's gonna try and send it we hang it out but we get a massive slide into hairpins who I just cannot get used to the brakes at Hereford I just I just can't I don't know I, I Try being gentle on them, try being hard on them. I just seem to always lock them up. And from the amount of sliding and frankly dodgy driving that was going on all day, I think everybody, well not everybody, but much of the pack were struggling with the heavy rear ends and, and uh, lot, uh, brakes that like to like to stick a lot. We see some chaos ahead as Barney just punts Ollie Barney in the back. And uh, that, that compromises both him and Matt going through the hairpins. So me and Jake take advantage of that. And uh, yeah, just some chaos giving us some something back uh, for once today. And we go a little bit defensive and then Matt's gonna manage to hang it around the outside the hairpin, send it up the inside of the bridge. And uh, yeah, that's another another place we've lost over the bridge. Um, and then by, I, I don't know what that attempt was other than shoddy. Um, the only reason I went wide was because he stuck his nose up the inside and forced me wide once I was already very committed to that corner. Uh, and only thing I'd say is lucky it didn't wipe me out and, uh, and I'd stayed ahead of him. We lost time to Matt in front which has obviously cost us in terms of trying to make some positions up as well. As we see uh, Oli Barney is uh, struggling there to make it past Barry, Barry Lewis ahead. Um, so we're hoping to catch the back of these four and, uh, and just take advantage of any space that Ollie may open up but he looks like he's got the move done there getting the getting the smoke out of the tires and everything we see Matt giving uh, Jacob nudge and a second nudge and then I push Matt through that's a bit uh, it's a bit dodgy that one in it Matt um, yeah just really clumsy midfield driving all day uh, not singling Matt out there um, it was just everybody just seemed to be really clumsy in the midfield 
the track I think it looks like there's more space than there is basically everywhere um, it always looks like there's a move on but these carts are so wide and the rear end's so heavy it's just hard to actually make a move and uh, so we'll we'll see what we can do here we got Barry in he ahead of Matt we're gonna see if we can sneak up the inside of this and, uh, and get involved get some positions back and, uh, and see what that will give us but it's uh, it's all pretty even as you can see Matt goes to look up the inside barrier there that was never going to be on so he decides to, to slot back out and we're just kind of kind of maintain this gap not closing up enough to Matt although we do there Barry absolutely mullers that inside barrier which looks like it's going to give Matt a move up the inside so we're going to follow Matt through the inside we're going to get side by side with Barry and then coming around into the left hander. Can we get a move done? No. Barry's going to give Matt a massive bump up the rear and then we are stuck side by side and we just can't get across and then Barney's going to follow us through on the inside because inside is king everywhere here. And once again, that's how whilst trying to make a move, you lose another position. And uh, yeah, it's just a frustrating race to me. We see Barney get the start of that first corner wrong and then I try to switch back under the inside and kill all of my drive coming out by, by clobbering the barrier on the inside and just again just maintaining this train at the moment I feel like I'm driving alright and uh, the guys ahead sliding around a bit so there should be opportunity here but just not opening up I try a wider entry to try and cut back underneath on both of those sections there under the bridge and it just didn't come off get a better drive off the bridge though by the looks of it yeah we caught up a little bit coming into turn one a club of the barrier on the left that's always a good plan right and finally again managed to get away and catch most of it back up but it's just not not consistent enough finally gets a slide there so we're going to see if we can get up the inside we can anything on helping two and try the switch back but as i said it's just so hard you just can't get tight enough around that hairpin to get a switch back very often. These carts just understeer all day long. Barney gets a massive slide there, nudges, nudge him off, um, just because they had nowhere else to go if somebody slides on the apex in front of you. We get better drive around the outside of the, the bridge and we get that move done at least. I'm gonna try now, get our heads down, see if we can't catch up to Barry ahead and see, uh, see if we can make some moves there. We're gonna get a massive slide there and then just the clumsiest collision ever. Um, Barney just wipes me out and uh, yeah that is the second race in a row where I've been wiped out by some clumsy driving uh, um, yeah what can I say it's just how the midfield was today just all over the place sliding clumsy contact and there we go once again it's the last lap and I've been, been spun out and that dropped us to 10th I believe it was in this one um, so so far after two heats an 8th and a 10th I think the way I'm holding the steering wheel and just kind of shaking my head here perfectly summarizes how I feel today is going so far um, unfortunately at this point I seem to not be able to just regain my composure um, normally I'm pretty good at just kind of putting it to one side getting on with the next heat but after two wipeouts, it's just so hard. And then my last start is from 10th place, way back towards the back of the grid. Only 12 cars. Well, I say only. There's 12 cars in the heat. Here we go. It goes green nice and early. I don't get a good start in comparison to Hagen this time, but I do in comparison to Mark. But again, just so much gap ahead. Hagen gets such a good start that I can't even slot up the inside of Mark using Hagen as my battering ram. Um, but we are side by side here coming over the bridge. As we see, we managed to navigate that fine. We're going to hold the position. Looks like we're going to hold the position because uh, they're going to have to back out just before that right hander. But once again, we find ourselves in this mid pack. We've got Mark ahead. We know Mark's a good driver, a good clean driver. So we're going to try and send it on him because it's opened up there. But now we've got three, four, five, six carts all in a big bundle in front of us, all smacking each other. And it's just more of that clumsy midfield driving. Um, yeah, trying to hang it around the outside of Mark here see what the bridge brings um, this could be chaos I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna go for it and it opened up and I've just sent it and it somehow seems to have come off side by side with Hagen though we're gonna hold it through the first corner we're not gonna hold it through the first corner um, and we get a bit of slide mid corner there 
that just kills any chance of sending up the inside of the hairpin. So now we've got to go defensive. We see Ethan who wiped me out in heat one and Aiden having some contact up ahead there. And it's just messy, 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 messy heats. And then we see Luke gets up the inside of me there, but he, uh, he feels that he's um, got that unfairly. I didn't mean to smack him on the apex of the hairpin. I didn't realize he was slow enough to let me pass. So he's given me the, uh, the yep, go pass symbol because uh, I, I didn't think there was too much wrong. But obviously he feels that he stuck his nose in under the bridge, didn't want the penalty. So he's, uh, he was faster than me, so he's let me through. And uh, he's probably going to overtake me again in a bit. Um, that has cost us a little bit to the guys in here just through the confusion of getting back past. Um, but fair play to Luke for that. Shout out to Luke Evans. That's, uh, that's a top bloke move there. Um, on a day where there was lots of contact, you see how unhappy I am with my slide in there. And Luke's going to make it clean here. We see him come in. I've slid. We know he's got better drive. And uh, yeah, just kind of no point in over defending that one. We're in like 10th place, 9th place, something like that. So we want to catch these guys ahead uh, and make up some more positions. We know Luke's faster than us at this moment. So let's just latch onto the back of him and, uh, and go. But yeah, shout out to Luke Evans for, for the fair play award there of, of letting me through. Um, he didn't even get told to do it by the marshal, he didn't get black and white or anything. He just decided himself that, that that wasn't as clean as he'd like. So yeah, proper shout out for that. That's, uh, that's how it should be. Um, so cheers for a, a bright spot in, a, in an otherwise dark day there, Luke. Uh, and this, this is the end, as you can see. Luke has disappeared. He's gone off into the distance. We haven't managed to catch up any of the others. Um, just driving around on my own, checkered flag. And that is the end of three very disappointing heats. The third, more my own fault, but the first two definitely not, and definitely very frustrating. Okay, guys, so that was heat three. Uh, two and three, sorry, wasn't it? Yep, yeah. um, they, they kind of both went by in a blur because uh, there was only one heat in between my two heats, so I had to just kind of get straight on um, with my, my second race there. Um, yeah, not much to say about race one. Um, all the all the Vertiki guys in front were, were battling. Um, they probably should have worked together a little bit and caught up to the guys ahead, but they were battling a lot. Um, it was a bit of a messy one all round. And then once again, I ended up being collected through no fault of my own um, and, uh, and spun out. So that was disappointing. Not that I was in any decent position in that one. Um, so I think that ended up, I can't remember, 10th. Something like, yeah, 10th, I think. Um, so that wasn't great. Um, and then that last heat, the third heat, was just not, not particularly pacey, I don't think. It was chaos. Um, in the mid pack here at Hereford. There's a lot of spots where it looks like you can make an overtake, but it's not actually on. And uh, this early in the season, lots of drivers aren't used to racing against each other, I think. Um, and there's a lot of people that haven't raced in this championship last year, in it this year. And it's just learning how everybody drives and races. And unfortunately, it's not been particularly good today in terms of those battles and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit contact heavy today, but Hereford was last year, like I said, it's early in the season, so I think once people start to learn to drive with each other, learn a little bit of respect for each other, then, then it might get a bit better later on. Um, obviously not the day I was hoping for again, <laughs> saying that a lot recently, um, but I feel like it wasn't my fault today. Everybody is so tight on pace as well. Um, there's only like half a second between the fastest lap and like 30th or something. It's, it's pretty nuts how tight everything is. Um, so yeah, disappointing heats, but we got the finals coming up and it'll just be a case of do as much as we can, see where we end up. Hopefully come the end of the season, it'll be a drop round and I won't have too many bad rounds, but uh, it's not another strike towards SRK1 promotion at least, I guess, um, on the kind of semi-bright side. But here's Freddy. Freddy's gonna tell us how his day's going. How's your day, Freddy? Uh, horrible. Horrible. Remember, no swearing on YouTube. At the moment. At the moment, yeah. <laughs> Until you get a bit, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we we'll have to remember, see if I remember to bleep out all of my swearing in the heats. I'll, I'll, blur, the, that, I'll blur the fingers. Uh, and everything. Probably a lot more than just <laughs> blur. You have to just cut the image entirely. I might just not upload it. Best option, probably. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we're gonna get in the final. You're having a decent day, aren't you? Even though you've had some bad results early on. Uh, one good heat and then one good heat in the wall or off the track. Okay. Well, we'll see. 
We'll see how the finals go. Freddie might get himself promoted to SRK1 if, he, if he's done well. But, uh, I'll yeah. know. <laughs> I'll bring it with me and find the team up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll jump in the finals, see how that goes. Yep. And Freddie's going to do better than me. Probably not. <laughs> so that appalling set of heats puts in the E final, the bottom final. Um, yeah, not been this low for a very long time. But here we are, P5 in the E final. Let's see what we can recover. Uh, let's try and have a good race. It's hopefully going to be a drop round. There we go, green light, away we go. And once again, we have beaten somebody off the start because we get up the inside. And then we're going to try and get up the inside of Jake, which we do manage to uh, to use Jeff ahead as a battering ram to, to keep that gap open for us. And we're, we're straight into P3. So now we're hoping we can we can make a move on, on Jeff Head. Didn't notice him at the time, um, found out since. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can make a move on him. And our teammate Wade is up in the in the lead of this race. So uh, we wanna we wanna have a battle with him, see if we can uh, see if we can be the ones to be promoted. Only one person gets promoted through to the D final. Um, yeah, short of a miracle, this is this is hopefully gonna be a a white uh, dropped round come the end of the year. If this isn't a dropped round, then I've had a bad year. So um, yeah, this is just about trying to enjoy some racing, maybe win a final and, uh, and see what happens. And as you can see, it's just kind of maintaining the top three. We jump ahead and uh, yeah, I'm starting to catch Jeff. We kind of had sections where we caught him, sections where we dropped away. He's gone defensive there. So we've just maintained our line. Try the switch back, not gonna happen. Try a switch back here as he's taking a tight line. No, no just, I just couldn't get hard to turn in any more than I than I am doing so now I just felt like I suffered with understeer all day. You see Jeff's gonna catch a bit of a slide then I'm gonna catch a bit of a slide. Just more of that messy little like he slid there. I don't know if he thought that I nudged him and that's why he's throwing a hand in the air. But um, yeah as you can see I was about three cart lanes back. Not that far a couple of cart lanes back because I'd messed up the corner before myself. Um, and yeah, we'll jump ahead again because it just continued like this with the three of us kind of in this little bit of a train of catching and, and losing. So I'm going to try, no, he's going to look over his shoulder, sees that I'm there. And then I missed the apex by about 27 years, so I don't get anything there. He gets a slide there and see, even though he slid and I had good driving set up for a switchback, I just can't get it done. I can't, couldn't get this cart to accelerate out the corners. Um, even when Jeff that hits the barrier on the inside, just don't seem to gain anything out of the corner. Seemed to, his cart was slow on the top end, but he didn't seem to have any trouble getting out of corners. So then here we've caught back up to him again, and uh, it's just kind of maintaining at this point. But we can see Wade starting to get away ahead as I've started to challenge, challenge ahead. Wade's, Wade's pulled off. And uh, yeah, so it's looking less and less likely we're going to be able to get an overtake done and get weighed. So it's getting to, again, to desperation time here if we're going to make any moves. You see Jeff gets a slide there in that hairpin. He gets another slide there, but I can't capitalise on either of them. And then again, I just lose on the exit of the corner. He just pulls away down the straight. Catches a slide under the bridge. Catches a slide again there, but I can't make any advantage of it. It's just not opening up. That's what I mean at Hereford. Again, a catch up off the bridge there, but it just doesn't, it's just never a point where it's long enough for that better drive to kick in. I try a wider line in, I cock it up, and I end up with Jake Shoot challenging me from my position, so I have to go a little bit defensive down the straight there in order to, to not give that up. Me and Jake did have a great battle, um, you'll be able to see it a lot better in his video because um, uh, he's right behind me at this point, so uh, I'll link to that below. Definitely check his videos out. And then we see here, Jeff gets a bit of a slide and I get much better driving. I'm like, right, it's on, it's on, it's on. And I go to send it. And it's a clumsy one. You see, I, I think I'm side by side. They give me the penalty board straight away. They didn't even seem to think about it. Um, yeah, obviously, sorry to Jeff for ruining his race. Um, I've messaged him and he's spoken and stuff. But um, it's just one of those where I felt like I had better drive because of the slide he had in the hairpin. I'd overtaken and been overtaken there multiple times today and I felt like I was more alongside than the move I made on Hagen even earlier and more alongside than the moves that were made on me. Um, it just happens on this one that, that we hit the barrier and uh, I spun him out I guess. Um, yeah, the penalty was instant as you saw and, uh, and I did appeal the penalty points on my, on my season licence but uh, but that was also declined, so I guess I guess I'm wrong on that one. Um, 
yeah, me and Jake sharing a, a fist pump there, um, and that is the end, thankfully, of a very poor day. Um, so as you see, not every day is uh, is an average day, <laughs> and not all days are great days. Some days it just ain't your time. Um, the points I lost, I lost 10 points being wiped out in that first heat. And on the final standings, 10 points was the difference between 48th where I was and 21st. Okay guys, so that was an E final. Um, started fifth in the E final. Pace was really good, as you'd hope in the E final. Um, if I haven't got pace in the E final, then what am I doing here? But um, yeah, good pace, made some moves up, then got stuck behind the guy in second. Um, he was just, well, as you saw, he was just watching me race rather than concentrating on his own race. Um, let Wade get away at the front and uh, yeah just couldn't get couldn't find a way through just yeah he was a bit all over the place as we saw over the bridge he slid coming out of the hairpin I got a better drive thought I was alongside enough as you see by my hand signals um, yeah I mean pretty much any other corner on the calendar that's alongside in my eyes um, I know they're very harsh on that corner here because it's quite a dangerous one. Um, but yeah, frustrating penalty. I assume it was a four place takeout. I don't actually know how to bother checking. Um, nobody cares when you finish in the E final, do they, when it's that low down? Um, so yeah, not a good result today. Hopefully, it'll be a, a drop round. I just don't seem to get on well at this track. I like the layout. I just can't get on with the car. I just don't like them. They're sluggish. The brakes are horrible. I just, yeah, just don't don't like the carts here. Um, but I like the track, and they run a fantastic event. Um, everything's always on time. Really nice guys. Um, no, no, no moans about that. Just the carts aren't something I enjoy driving. Um, especially coming from the Club 100 carts, uh, it's a little bit of a little bit of a difference that. Um, but yeah, it's it's rental carting, isn't it? That's what happens. The two takeouts and my two heats cost me heavily. Um, I think assuming I finished second, which I would have in that first heat, that dropped me a good 20 places, that one takeout there, um, and then spinning or getting spun in the second one, um, probably cost me another four to six points. So I've, I've lost lots of places due to instance right outside my control. The third heat was on me. That just wasn't good enough. And the final, I had good pace, um, was battling through. Just couldn't find a way through that guy in second. I um, was defending for his life, um, which is fair enough. He's entitled to do that. But yeah, just couldn't find couldn't find a way through out the corners, and uh, so it wasn't wasn't ideal. But there we go. Um, I'm gonna go watch the fast drivers going. Eh? Um, but yeah, so that's gonna do it for this one. Uh, no trophy again today, and sorry to end on a bit of a downer. But uh, it's motor racing, hey. The ups and downs, uh, the downs make the ups feel good. So uh, hopefully we got Formula Fast next round. As we know, competing at BRKC there, my pace was decent. So let's hope we can get a decent result there. Though it is indoor, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. We'll chuck the results up at some point, but uh, only quickly because I don't want you to look at them too much and, and see how far down it was. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you at the next one. And uh, thanks for watching, even though it was a bit of a rubbish one. Cheers.